Okay, folks, welcome back. <clears throat> today is March 3rd. We have natural pollen coming in the hives today. Uh, driving home from work, you could see a lot of the maple trees around us blooming. Uh, so the bees have natural pollen coming in. I do have pollen patties on these hives. Hopefully there you can see some, there's a bee right there with a little bit of pollen. Almost every bee coming in has got pollen on the baskets, so that is wonderful to see. That'll get these queens really moving, get them uh, going on laying and stuff. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a look in this double deep hive here. It's uh, one of my better hives. So we'll see if the queen is laying and see how she's doing. I'm not going to dig in super deep, just uh, crack a couple frames open, kind of check to make sure uh, she started laying, kind of see how the, how the nest is looking for the spring. And uh, we'll kind of take her from there. Okay, so we'll uh, crack this hive open here. I've got the inner cover turned over because I have a pollen patty in there. The other day when I put the pollen patty on there, kind of uh, upset, but it was a lot colder. Looking down in there, there's a lot of honey on these frames. Kind of see if they've eaten any. Yeah, they've eaten a little bit of the uh, pollen, not too much. The cluster is more over here on on this uh, west side so obviously that's where they're getting the heat from the sun so they're going to be on that side take this outer frame off and it is full honey I don't know if the queen is necessarily going to be up here in the top box, but chances are pretty good. A lot of bees up here. A lot of bees working the pollen on that. Got a pretty good patch of pollen right in here. Or, uh, not necessarily nectar, but they probably added water and honey there. And I don't see any eggs in the spring. The opposite side is just uh, straight honey, they haven't even touched. There's the queen, right there. It's good to see her alive. And we do have eggs. So, kind of where they've eaten the honey out, right through here, we've got all freshly laid eggs, surrounded by lots and lots of honey. So they have, these guys have plenty of stores. So even if we get into a bad stretch, they are gonna be uh, more than fine. Opposite side is completely laid with eggs on all the open cells right there. So every open cell has an egg, so she is started to lay really nice. The next comb over is just uh, solid honey. So they've got lots of stores up here in the top. <clears throat> In fact, pretty much every frame is solid honey. So they've got a 
good eight eight frames of, of solid honey left for them so they are in perfect shape to get started here this spring queen is off and laying which is awesome I'll throw that pollen sub back on there anyways even though they're not haven't touched it much just in case we get some uh, rainy weather here in the next couple weeks that'll keep the hives going in case they can't get out to forage obviously the uh, maple trees aren't gonna last forever they'll last a uh, you know a couple weeks here silver maples and whatnot are the, the first to go usually followed by the reds But those uh, this hive is looking pretty good to start the year. I didn't really want to get in there and uh, and dig around too much, but uh, just to kind of check her out, see how she's doing. And uh, queen's alive, queen's laying, so that's perfect. Uh, like I said, it's a beautiful day today, 70 degrees. We've had a pretty good stretch of weather here after all that uh, record cold here a couple weeks. So I did have a few losses uh, here over the winter. And I'll do a little more evaluating on those here in the next uh, week or so. Kind of go through the hives and uh, get them torn apart and get them ready for spring. But uh, so far we're off to a good start. Hope everyone's uh, checking their bees out and uh, seeing what's happening within their hives. Uh, we're down here in southwest Missouri, so spring for us uh, starts a little bit uh, sooner than some other people up north, obviously. And then people further south from us, you know, they're already going pretty strong. So uh, stay tuned, folks. The weather will warm up and you'll be able to get in your bees. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.